I mentioned that, like, oh, you know, I have family that are Southern. He's like, well, you don't have cousins that are married, do you? And I'm like, oh, no. Hi, my name is Elizabeth South. I'm a private investigator at Kane Associates Investigations here in Los Angeles, California. I've been doing this for probably five or six years and I have a lot of experience under my belt. Everything from surveillances to data searches, background searches, infidelity cases, child custody cases, major criminal investigations. Definitely got my feet wet in investigations as a bait girl and as a decoy. So basically that means I did under cover work and um, I was the liar. Today's a different story. We are playing the game Two Truths and a Lie where I have to figure out which person is not telling the truth. The theme today, horrific first date stories. I think it's gonna be really hard to tell because there are gotta be really bad first date stories here in LA. My name is Madison and my worst first date, we went to a smoothie bar at 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday and he talked the entire time and tried to pitch me his business idea to bring to BuzzFeed. If that actually happened, that's terrible and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Jasmine and my first date horror story is that during casual conversation with my date, height came up. I think I was saying something like, oh, I wish I was taller. You know, for models, usually we don't like 5'11 plus. And he said, well, it could be worse. You could be a midget. Haha, <laughs> that would suck. I mean, what if you're like your sister was a midget or something and then you're like, well, really? Right. You never know who's... They mentioned that like, oh, you know, I have family that are Southern and he's like, well, you don't have cousins that are married, do you? And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, he's a charmer. Hi, my name's Nadia. My first date horror story is that I accidentally took an edible prior to the first date, thinking it was just a cookie, <laughs> and threw up. That can happen. Oof. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this happened around 9 in the morning. Was this yeah. recent? Yeah, it happened about three months ago. Oh my god, how'd you guys meet? So we actually met at this like singles wine party event that one of my friends threw and he was there. When I was leaving, he asked me for my Instagram, which I thought was a little weird because like he's a little bit older than me and I figured he would like want my phone number maybe. But yeah, he asked for my Instagram and would like DM me for weeks. He asked you on a date, it's a morning date at a yeah. smoothie bar, which is a strange first date. I thought it was a little strange too, but I was kind of into it because I was like, oh, like maybe he's up early and maybe he likes fitness. So I'm like, okay, like I can deal with it, but that should have been my first red flag. <laughs> All right, so you're not going to see him again? No, I didn't see him again. When you were at this party, why did you give him your Instagram handle? So it was like a singles party. So there was a bunch of single people there and he just was like the cutest one. Unfortunately, that's about where it ends up. <laughs> yeah. A couple questions for you. Mm -hmm. Where'd you meet him? Well, I actually do um, practice dates with guys who are socially awkward. On purpose? Um, like, did on you purpose. for it? The, yeah, the company hires me and other girls to go on dates with these guys <laughs> and it kind of educates them on what to do and what not to do. So he was my first date for that night. We kind of rotate between five guys. That sounds kind of weird. Go girl. So he was one of the guys that was my practice date, I guess, or more I was his practice date and that was definitely a let's write this on the survey as don't do this. You actually had to give them a survey? Basically write what they did good, what they did bad, so they actually had feedback on what to do next time or not to do next time. Did you meet anybody there you liked? Yeah, there was a really nice British guy. There's an option at the end of the survey where would you be interested in dating this guy? And do you see if the guy asks for you too? Because maybe that guy that you went on that bad date with asks for you and you just don't know it. They'll let you know ahead of time like if someone's interested, would you be interested in going on a return date? Then they'll swap contact information, but it's not like you find out right away. Then I'm going to go on to you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> when did this happen? Five years ago. I was visiting some friends in San Francisco and I had Tinder. So I matched just with a cutie. We just were like chatting a little bit and she's like, hey, I'm going to be getting some dinner at this place. Do you want to come with me? I was like, yes. I was hanging out with my friend. I was like, hey, I really want to go and meet up with this cutie. And I was like, cool. And she had these cookies, and I didn't know that they were edibles. Just like I just kind of grabbed one. Like that's just like what I do. Where were these cookies? cookies? Where'd you find them? They're, They're just like on the counter, on a, like a plate, and I ate it. I just popped it in. I was like, these taste really weird. Oh no 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 no! Those are my edibles. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever um, done edibles before? Yes, I only took a bite that last time. So I, f I figured because the cookies were so small, it would be okay. No, they are potent. They are very, very potent. <laughs> and how'd you find your way there? Did you call a, a cab or? We had talked about it, me and my friend that I was staying with. And I was like, I, I can just walk there. She said, oh, it's really straightforward. You just know how like you like That sounds very notes. straightforward to me, yeah. <laughs> and so I start walking and then I start actually like feeling the effects of the cookie. I got like a little bit of like auditory hallucinations while I was walking that goes like like, okay, this is hitting me. I get to the restaurant and no, I'm not feeling okay. I'm like, I don't even know what she looks like. 
But luckily she spotted me right away. All I could remember was act normal. It felt like it took an hour for the waitress to come through. It was one of those things where like, we weren't that hungry, but we wanted to share a plate. So we were sitting there and I was like, trying to act normal when you're not is the worst. Like you're trying to do right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the waitress comes by, puts down two like bowl size plate. And I kind of like, I look at it and then it just all comes up. All on the table. <laughs> on the, in, in the bowl? bowl? In the oh, bowl. Well, at least the bowl caught it. So then did the waiter come clean it up or? I covered the bowl. <laughs> the waitress comes through to ask, you know, how's oh, the food? No. And the person I sitting across from me was just okay with you covering the bowl and sitting there? No, she was like, are you okay? Like, what's going on? Like, are you feeling okay? And I said, <laughs> I accidentally got too high before I came here and it was all a mistake. So the waitress came through and I said, hey, I had an accident. And she like kind of looked at it and she said, that was me last week, sweetie. <laughs> oh she was my so God. sweet and understanding. I was like, are you serious? Thank you. So she like scooped it up and she took it out and we waited for the check to come. And I said, yo, I should just go home. And she said, okay. Your story is very easy to go through. I felt like your emotion was real and I felt like you were actually pretty disappointed that the guy was so cute and then he took you to a smoothie place and it just, you know, you thought he was gonna be healthy and everything. However, you could be just giving me that story because you're just really good at telling some story you made up. I don't know. Yours, I was uh, kind of iffy on. You're the one I'm like, mm, I don't know, maybe I should believe her, maybe I shouldn't. She seems like she's got a good tongue on her for telling a tale. <laughs> so yours, I kind of question a little bit, but I feel like you might have something to do with actually dating situations like this because that part felt real to me and you not much of yours feels real to me <laughs> honestly sweetie okay no the story could totally be real but i've never seen anybody puke in a contained fashion and i've never heard of like just sitting there and them not trying to move you out right away and bring somebody over to clean more things up like they would have been wiping off the table and doing a lot of other things so that for me brings you out as the person who's not telling the truth on my best guess you know you <laughs> If I fail at this, I'm gonna feel really bad right now. I might regret this, but I think you were telling me the truth. Yours was iffy, so I'm gonna go with you as the lie and these as the two truths. Good fact told the lie. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what this is. John was messing me up. That's why to get any of the other ones. <laughs> but the only thing that gave yours away really was the puking in the bowl. But that was the only thing that was true. <laughs> oh my God! That was the only part of the story that was And it was that, that quiet? True. It was quiet. It was very contained. That was I've the only- I've never seen that. And this straight through zigzag thing. Like, I don't know how we got there. Cause like, we just like meh, meh, meh. So you just know, so you know, it's, it's not straight through.